Hello Minecrafters, how are you? I'm really happy to be back and I want to show you my latest creation. This is my mobs on demand spawner. It is fantastic. I'm really excited to finish it. Um, if you know me, I'm a guy who looks at practicality. I'm not one who really cares much about beauty. So you see there's like a dirt block in there. This is all exposed, but I wanted to show you um, how this works. And this is connected actually to an XP farm which is down here. It's really cool. Um, it's got five levels and it's it works on water, principle of water. And when I push this button here, there's a vertical wiring that goes all the way up. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag in terms of barely when you hit the button, uh, but it's not really noticeable. The lag already has gone away. And what's happening right now, starting and this happens all at the same time. Water rushes on all the levels and it pushes all the mobs down here. And as you can see, they're already starting to come out and it fills up very, very, very nicely. And you get huge amounts of mobs. It is fantastic. In fact, I'm already done in the sense that I could press this button again. Okay. And what I do, I have a pressure plate here, so I just step on the pressure plate it crushes them and then I just hit them once or twice a few times not too many this can all be adjusted later basically if you look at my XP down below I'm getting XP and it's pretty nice and then all those items to get them again pressure plate and look you still have more coming down and what am I having here one second Okay, I had a little control problem there. And that's basically it. I mean, it's a great little farm. Um, you hit these guys a couple times. You can crush them. And you will get their loot. So it's fantastic. Now, if you press F3, if you look at, it says Minecraft on top, then it says C, then it says E. E is entities. So it tells you there are 11 entities. And the time that I turned it off, I could push this again. And now, I don't know if you can hear my computer fan, but it's going on because there's lots of computer memory into, uh, into working on this. So you can see the mobs are starting to come out, they're starting to bounce. You can hear them. I have to eat, so. And the sun's coming down. So you can see, I'm getting a good yield. You just crush them. A really good yield here. If you really don't care about XP, you see my XP is going up, 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 up. If you really don't care about XP, you can just um, either turn up the crusher so that it'll automatically kill him. That's if you only want loot, if you don't want XP. So you can adjust that yourself, um, which is really good. And this is great because it works with 1.3. It is really easy in terms of, I mean, doing this, getting loot. All I got to do is push one button. I push it. Again, now the water is turning off and it gives them a chance to spawn. So... I'm going to go back and sleep in my house and come back. See, they're still dropping, <laughs> even if the mob spawner is off, because they can be caught in here. So I'm going to quickly sleep and come back, and I'll explain to you how this works. All right? And we got a couple of uh, guys here, which I love this. When the sun comes up and you catch them in full bloom, you can just destroy a lot of these guys. But I hate the creepers that are silently around here. So anyway, here's my mob spawner. As you can see, the roof is totally flat. All right, um, There's actually torches there so that mobs don't spawn. If you can see, there's about 10 entities in there already, so it's good. It's ready to go. What I love it is, um, I mean, you can turn the water off, walk away a little bit, come back. Ooh, look at that. That's because of the new... Look at that, the new snapshot. These guys have armor now. And he's carrying an arrow. Okay. But he's in gold armor. That's pretty cool. And they're, they're a lot harder to beat. And... Okay. I'm My inventory is kind of full right now. Um, I've been doing a little bit of... Uh, I've been, I'm making an auto... Automatic sugarcane farm. So, let me get rid of a lot of this stuff. See, I have rotten flesh. Gunpowder. This is from what I got. I have bows. Um, I have TNT, now I can make tons of TNT now with this spawner. Okay, I think I'm good. 
from this. I can make tons of TNT because this spawner really helps me. Uh, it's, it's mobs on demand. You click there. So let me actually. Whoa. Let me get this guy here. Whoa. This guy's violent. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look how many of these guys. My sword is dying. Okay. So these guys are bouncing in here. As you can see, it took, what, 15 seconds, and they hit the ground from that distance. So the crusher is pretty simple. Uh, I might make a tutorial on this. There's just redstone. Okay, is this guy destroying my... Oh my god, these two guys are just... Better not be destroying anything here. Oh gosh. These guys take the... Take all the dirt away from here. And you're going to destroy my... Where is it? They better not be destroying my... Let me just deal with this guy. Ay, ay, ay. Well, at least I'm getting all these ender pearls. Anyway, so before... Oh, geez, see what you made me do? Okay. So what's happening here is you get redstone, okay? And it goes into delay. See, the delay, you can make as much as you want. And this is how much it crushes. Then this goes back and pushes the pistons up here and the four pistons to crush them. And I even have pistons in case because I originally thought this uh, through as a waterless mob spawner but with 1.3 it's not as efficient. You can see it's not as great because I used to get maybe two two guys, two mobs, you know, and that wasn't too great. But now it's like it's you don't even have enough time to get all this. Look at the, all this XP. Um, it's incredible, and all the loot that you get. Gunpowder, I've got uh, rotten flesh, I've got uh, bones. I would keep the rotten flesh because you can do trading with it now, so that's kind of cool. And again, you just hit the button again, and sends a signal up there. Let me go up there and let me show you what it looks like. So I am back up here, I got some gravel, and as you can see there's lots of water. Um, hopefully you can hear that in the background. Is because the water is activated. Um, this is a bunch of pads. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I might just do a tutorial next time or just show you what's in here. It's kind of hard because I don't want to destroy anything. But um, the water is activated, so it pushes all the mobs forward. And that's pretty cool because with 1.3 now, if you're about 40 blocks away from the, um, the mobs, it will actually make them stand still. So that would make a pistonless and a waterless mob spawner, it wouldn't work. The reason why it wouldn't work is simply because um, they're not moving, so they can't get pushed anywhere. So that's not good. But with here, even if they're standing still, the water will push them, so it's great. So this is the first level, all right, and it continues all the way there. I really need to destroy these because I don't want any guys standing up here in this area. But anyway... It's beautiful because you get a really nice view. And I do have a quick way to get down, which is kind of cool. So let me just go. One second. Well, oh, that's not good. Well. I guess I have no choice to go this way. Alright, but you can go up this way. And uh, so I made a lot of these. This is like scaffolding. When I was when I used to climb up, um, it's pretty cool. You can see my house and the glass tunnel and my farms. Um, so it's good to make the scaffolding. Um, I can't destroy that. So I'm just gonna jump down in, this, in the way I am because it's kind of difficult to get back to where I was. So it's getting dark and I'm back down here and. My mob spawners here. Just one thing to note, you will get these bugs every once in a while. I don't know why, but um, it's something I guess they have to fix, and they'll just stand here. They won't hurt you, but it's kind of funny because, well, they're just standing there. And sometimes, because um, you get all these mobs being crushed, you're just not sure what happens. So that'll happen once in a while, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, but it is worth it. It is. It is such a great spawner so thank you guys for watching a like would really help um, if you subscribe you will get other videos 
um, an interesting nature. I'm working on a sugar farm, automatic sugar farm, so you can make unlimited pages or books. Uh, so go ahead and stay tuned with me, and that shall come up soon. I'm working on other things. I'm going to continue making a melon farm, and there's a creeper in my cow farm. Okay, that's great. And hopefully you guys will stay with me, and I'll talk to you soon. See you later, guys. Bye.